The question often comes up as to the cost of compliance versus non-compliance. So why would I invest in a compliant system rather than just going for a non-compliant and probably cheaper option? The reason is to save lives and to have the assurance that you have done everything in your power to prevent an accident from occurring. In a non-compliant frame, there is no assurance. You might be the owner of a logistics company or a vendor company, and there is no assurance when you put your head on your pillow that night that your driver and component are going to have a safe trip. How are you sure that that component is going to arrive at destination safely and in one piece, and that it hasn't come sliding off the back of the truck? So the cost of compliance is a small price to pay if you're comparing it with the price of a life, because life is precious. You cannot put a value on the price of a life or multiple lives lost as a result of something coming off the back of a truck due to an emergency braking event. To unpack that further, you might say, I might get something knocked up at a local fab shop and is Daywalk saying that that can't be done? Or is the law saying that that can't be done? The law does not say it is mandatory that you have a certified frame, but as one eminent gentleman in the industry said, how do you prove when you are in court that that frame was indeed compliant? What is there to prove? Is there the paperwork or a certification to prove that the frame that we transported a multi-ton component on was indeed compliant? So the cost of non-compliance, while there might be a few more dollars saved in a non-engineered, non-certified, non-transport rated frame, there could be some dollars saved if you got it knocked up at a local place and just did a quick wet spray. It looks okay, she'll be right, compared to a frame where there's been full design engineering, FEA, and third party verification on the whole design. So. All in all, the price or investment of proactive compliance is a very worthwhile investment compared to something where you can't be sure because you can't be assured of safety and compliance when something has just been knocked up and not properly certified.